welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about modeling of exponential function. And we have a formula here that will help us to model exponential growth and decay. We're going to see problem where we have growth and we're going to see problem where we have decay. T is the time period, usually it's years, but it can be also days, depends on your problem, days, hours, whatever. Initial amount, rate, which usually is in percentage, and this is in this uh, video clip, we we're going to look for the final answer, which is uh, the amount after t times periods. Now, this is a formula also you can see and hear about. This is related to money, right? T is the time, like I said, usual years. P the initial amount, the principal rate and amount after t. So let's see here some problems. So the first one is right here, and it's you see is related to money, so. I'm going to use the second formula. Okay, P in this case is the money you deposit, $1,000. $1, the rate is 3%, which is 0 0.03, and the T is 4 years. Okay, so we're going to have here A of um, 4, right? A of 4 will be what? 1000. 1 plus 0 0.03 to the power of 4. So let's do a simple simplification here, which is uh, the parentheses. And then we're going to need a calculator, All right? So 1.03 raised to the 4 power times raised to the 4 power times the original amount, I end up with 1,125 point, I'm going to round it to the nearest cent, 51 cents. That is the answer for number uh, 17. Pause this video clip and try number 18. So the amount after three years should be $3,374.59. If you have this answer, you did a wonderful job. Okay, now let's take a look at this problem. This one is with population. The formula, if you remember, is the same with the other one. The only difference, instead of P, we have a small a, 1 plus r to the t power. So in this case, what do we have? The population after 10 years will be what? 70,000, that is the original amount, right? Times 1 plus, again, 2.3%. That is the decimal form. Okay, so let's do one simplification here, which is the parentheses. And then, like, Usually, we're going to need a calculator. The population after 10 years is approximately 87,872. I round it down here because you talk about population. Pause this video clip and try number 20.
uh, the population after five years with that uh, rate of 3.1% increase growth is 151,438. Uh, now we're going to have a problem where the population decrease, right? So how is this different? Uh, look at here. We have 70,000, that is the original uh, population. And now one minus, because it decreases, it makes sense to say minus, right? One minus, and again, we're going to change that uh, percentage in a decimal form, and again, uh, 10 power. So we're going to do some simplification here inside of the parentheses. And that will be, well, Point nine hundred and seventy-seven, the ten power. So in other words, the population here is ninety-seven percent left after each year. So it's going down. So let's see how much is this uh, expression. I'm gonna raise to the ten power, and we're gonna multiply by seventy thousand, and I end up with fifty. 5,468. That is the population after 10 years with the population decrease uh, by 2.3% every year. Pause this video clip if you want and go and try number 22. So the population after five years, if the population decreased by 3.1% per year, is 111,061. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-square for more math video clips. Thank you.